it is officially Dental Hygiene Appreciation Week. So if you have not showered and loved on the hygienist in your practice, you still have two days. I feel like a Christmas commercial now. Don't worry, you still have two days left to make uh, your appreciation known to your team and to let them know that you care and value them as a member of your office staff. Um, and remember, in a time where we're really struggling to find good quality individuals to work and then stay in our office and actually work at a fair and reasonable wage, let's go ahead and make sure that we're showing enough appreciation to those who keep showing up every day, uh, ready to work and, and enjoying you and the loyalty to your office. In addition to this week, the month of April is Oral Cancer Awareness Week or Oral Cancer Awareness Month. So a great time for you to be thinking about social media campaigns and having open discussions with your patients about what you're doing when you ask them awkwardly to stick their tongue out, when you're checking all the soft tissues, when you're doing a palpation exam along the lower jaw and in the, um, in the neck region, because you do often get kind of these strange looks. Um, great opportunity for an open discussion about a dentist's role in diagnosing and observing uh, potential carious lesions and our um, opportunities to get early intervention and treatment. In addition, if you want to have additional discussions about HPV and the vaccinations that are available and how what the correlation is between HPV and oral cancers, really awesome opportunities to have highly educated conversations with your patients. If you're a member of any of the organized dental groups, a lot of them are, them are offering uh, social media campaign material um, so that you can continue to provide that information, not just within the four walls of your office, but also in a social media realm as well. And certainly you can do your own videos and discuss what you're providing to your patients on a, a, da a daily basis. I think many of my patients don't realize, and, and to be fair, I don't really talk about it, um, that we are doing this oral cancer screen. So maybe make it a priority for the month of April. Lastly, just a little note from a dink who's been around for the whole, most of this whole uh, journey. Very early in our uh, journey of doing these really cool interviews with really cool people, we had the opportunity to interview uh, Representative Gosar. Now, he's a very controversial individual, and this is not meant to be political in any stretch. But the interesting piece about Dr. Gosar is that, yes, he's a member of Congress, but he's also in his previous life before being elected. He is and was a dentist. So he brings an interesting opportunity for us to see a day in the life of a dentist also in the House of Representatives. I was excited to see that his name was attached to the bill that finally passed through the House and then moved on and passed through the Senate that ended the uh, emergency pandemic of COVID-19. It does not appear that the president will be vetoing this bill. So we are looking forward to finally sunsetting the emergency uh, restrictions that come with a pandemic emergency being in place. Um, it should open up additional doors of mass mandates, uh, travel restrictions, et cetera, as the U.S. joins many other countries of moving forward with ceasing operations in an emergency uh, platform. So always excited to see a dentist and his name associated with legislation that moved on and became law, especially in the realm of where medicine is involved. And with that, that's the news.